All of the videos you're seeing on screen now were made by a new AI video generator that's blown my mind. Because it's so much easier to use than other AI video generators, and it lets you do a ton of extra things to make your generated videos even better. Normally, video generators only make short, silent videos like these. But with this new 9-in-1 AI tool, beginners can make full-length AI movies that have sounds, voices, everything. For example, here's a short film I just made with it myself. Okay, so do we fight her? She has a lightsaber and a smoking habit. That means she's been through some things. Wait, is that Bantha meat? Dude, did you seriously bring a packed lunch to a war zone? I'll take the sandwich. Is, is this how we negotiate now? I made everything that you just saw and heard there inside this new AI video generator, which I think is amazing because rather than having to spend on multiple different tools, everything beginners need to make a video like that is now in one place. So in this video, I'll reveal what that new nine in one AI video generator is. We'll look at the costs and also how you can grab a cheeky discount right now. And then finally, we'll move on to a tutorial on how to use it so that you can easily make your own short film like the one I made at the start of this video. So let's start by revealing the all-in-one AI video generator. To make your own AI generated short film, like the one you saw I made, you'd usually need to use multiple tools. You'd need to be using a AI image generator, like Ideogram, which starts at $7 a month. You'd need an AI video generator, like Kling, which also starts at $7 a month. You'd need an AI voice generator like Eleven Labs, which starts at $5 a month. A music and sound effects library like Epidemic Sounds, which is $20 a month starting. And finally, you'd need a video editor to edit all that together like Adobe Premiere, which is $25 a month. So if you were subscribed to these five AI tools, each month you'd be paying at least $64 just to get started experimenting with making these high quality AI videos. And when you get more serious and start wanting to get more use out of these tools, you could be paying $100, $150 plus a month. But this new all-in-one AI video generator that has all of those features included, it starts at just $20 a month. So that's saving you $44 off the $64 that you would be paying using all of those separate tools. So to me, that's just way more beginner friendly because that's such a lower financial commitment for newcomers to start making their own AI videos. And with the further 20% off discount that you can get right now, that takes that $20 down to $16 a month. So that's now a $48 saving to the alternatives. So this new AI video generator is called AIvideo.com. I'll show you inside it in just a second. And to get that discount, that 20% off your first year, you simply just need to click the link in the description to this video and use the code GPVideo at checkout. Great, so now let's jump into the tutorial so you can easily start using this yourself. Cool, so this is what you'll see once you're logged in and you're in the area to build your AI movies from scratch. I'll just quickly click down here and start showing you those nine features I wanted to highlight. So you will see here we have a video generator, an image generator, and image to video generator, an upscaler, and an avatar builder. Those are the first five features inside the tool. Then if we click up here, we have the sixth area where we can generate AI voiceovers, the seventh area over here where we can make our own sound effects from scratch, the eighth area over here which is the music library feature. And these other features like the captions tool, the transitions, and this timeline area here, all kind of bundled together into feature number nine of being a video editor that lets us put everything together that we've generated. I used to avoid doing AI video generation because to get the finished result that you wanted, 
you used to have to use so many different tools. So the fact that all of this is now in one place, like I'm loving this. So let me show you how I generated everything that was used in this little AI film. So you'll see the clip of these three characters talking to each other, showing in the preview here. And that's because I am hovering over this video file in the timeline down here. And if I scroll over that, you'll see that that's a video where these guys are talking to each other. And to generate this clip that I used here, I first had to just generate an image of these characters that I would later turn into a video. With AI video generation, you simply get better results if you generate an image first and turn that into a video rather than just trying to generate the video from scratch. So if we look up here in my generations, we'll see the image that I generated right here. And if we click that and we look down here, we can actually see all the settings that I used to generate that image. You can see that I was in the image generation option. And if we click here, we'll see I was using the Flux 1.1 Ultra model to generate that image. There's tons of different image generation models inside AIvideo.com. We've got Luma up here, Recraft, Ideogram, Stable Diffusion. I use Flux myself for this example, but you can just experiment with these as you're using the tool and see which one gets you the results that you want. Then I simply set the orientation to landscape. Uh, press generate, as we can see down here, that cost me eight credits to make this image. Once I had this AI image generated that we'll see up here in my previous generations, I was then able to use the tool to turn this image into a video, which we can see playing down here if I hover over it. And if I hover off that video, we'll see a little label in the top right corner telling me that it's in use, meaning that this AI video that I generated is inserted in the timeline down here in the current edit. So like I said, you just get better results if you first make a AI generated image and then you turn that image into an AI generated video. You just get better quality results. And that process of making an image first and then turning it into a video is what you do for every single clip that you're going to use inside your finished movie. So let's look at how you do that image to video conversion. So when you have a image like this generated that you want to turn into a moving video, you can simply just right click that image and then select this option down here to generate a video from that image. So if we just click that now, we'll see that this generation area down here has now changed. It's changed from image generation to image to video generation. It's loaded in that image up here as the image that we want to generate a video from. Once again, if you click this drop down box here, you get the option of which AI technology you want to use to convert your image into a video. So I use Kling 1.6 Pro. We'll see that's been selected up here at the top. I think that just gives the best results, but you can also use Google Video if you want to, Ray2, Vidu, Luma, or Minimax. Like seriously, everything is inside this tool. It's crazy. You then to choose the orientation and you can then choose with Kling if you want a five or a 10 second clip generated. I chose 10. And then down here, you simply type in the prompt of what you want to happen in the video that you're creating. So let's just look at the difference in prompt from the original image I generated to this video that I made after. So for the image, if you click that, you will see the prompts that I used down here. Three stormtroopers standing in the middle of a vast desert under two setting suns engage in a quiet discussion. One trooper looks concerned, another is whispering, and a third casually glances off into the distance. Their blasters are holstered, and the golden desert light creates long shadows in the sands. The atmosphere is slightly tense but comedic. So it's just really important with these prompts to include the subjects. So what people do you want inside your image? The location. So where are they and what is happening in that environment? And what are they doing? So here they're engaging in a quiet discussion. So subject, three stormtroopers, location, standing in the vast desert and action, engaging in a quiet discussion. Now, if we move down to the video that I generated from that image, we'll click that to see the prompt I used we'll see that the prompt is slightly different. So if we read here, you can see that I wrote, a slow dolly shot moves towards a small group of stormtroopers standing in the desert, glancing at each other as if whispering. One trooper shifts slightly, another tilts their helmet, uncertain. Heat waves distort the horizon behind them, adding to the atmosphere. So here, it was important to talk about how the camera moves to mention 
the subjects in the video. Once again, mention the location, so they're in the desert. And then finally, to talk about any movements that you want from the subjects. So we've got a trooper shifting, another tilting their helmet. So just make sure you're talking about how the camera's moving, what's in your video and where they are, and then the movement of anything in the video that you want to move. And the visuals are seriously as easy as that. You just generate the starting image you want for any clip in your finished film, and then you convert each of those images to a video. But you would have heard a mixture of different sounds too in that AI film that I created. So let's show you how to generate those sounds now too. So coming back into the tool, we've got these three areas for generating sounds. We can generate any voices in this section here, any sound effects in this section here, and any music that we want to use here. Generating the voiceovers in this area is super simple. You just click here to select any voice that you want to use in your video. You can preview the voice by pressing play here. Dá só uma olhada nesta bela voz para o seu projeto. Isso vai ser divertido. And once you've chosen the voice that you like, you just type in what you want that voice to say here and press generate. And you can see down here that generating these little voice snippets costs you absolutely nothing within your AI video subscription. Moving on, we can generate sound effects from scratch too using the AI inside the tool. So if I just click on one of these previous sounds that I generated and used in my own video, we'll click on this one here. We can see an example prompt that I used a steady pulsing hum of an active lightsaber. The deep bass tone has subtle fluctuations, creating a slightly futuristic oscillating energy sound. I'll click on another one just so you can see another example. Let's click on this one here. For this one, I typed in a wrapped sandwich being carefully passed from one person to another. A soft paper shuffle as the grip is exchanged. I found it took my video just to the next level if I just tried to think of every single sound that would be made in the film I was making and just generate a sound effect for that sound. So really try and generate as many sounds here as you can. Right, next, when you have all of your sound effects, you can head over here to music and you can simply search in this box here for any music that you could use in your edit. So we can see here, here's a song that I've already picked and used in my video that you saw. I can just press play, you can give that here. You may remember that from the opening and then we'll just do a search here. Let's do a search for something to do with war. Press enter. And then we have a ton of suggested songs down here that could be used in a video that you're putting together about war. Let's have a listen. Very Vietnam vibes there. And then to make the finished video, like you're seeing me scroll through here that I made earlier, you simply drag any of the visuals, the voices, the sound effects, and the AI music into the timeline by simply selecting it here and just dragging it down here into your edit. And like I said, the visuals go on top and any audio stuff goes on the bottom three layers down here. And now if we click to that point on the timeline and press play here, we'll see the video clip and the voiceover that I've just dragged in play. Is this how we negotiate now? There's one more feature inside here that I want to show you that I think has a lot of power behind it. So let's have a look. So take a look at this tool up here. It's called AI Edit. This is quite new. And if we press this, we can simply just type in an instruction into this box for what we want AI video to do for us. And in theory, it should do it. So we can press this for a suggestion. So we could ask it to write a compelling script about the invention of cars and record a voiceover for it. If we press this example here, we can ask it to generate a sound effect of an awesome hip hop beat. Or if we click this example, we can see we could ask it to generate and add some sound effects that will match my current video well. I'm going to use this example and just ask it to generate some more sound effects for me. And if we press enter now, we'll see that it's kind of working away up here. And in a second, we should get some more sound effects being created and added here based on what we've already been made. Yet we'll see here. AIvideo.com understands what visuals and audio we've already created and is creating extra assets for us to use automatically with these two down here. We can see one of them is sand being kicked up by a light breeze. And the next one is a distant echoing howl. Okay, so it's made some wolves in our desert for us because it thinks that will make our video better. So the nine features you're seeing now inside AIvideo.com are just 
insanely good. There's actually script generation too. So I guess there's t at least 10 with the script generation. And like I said earlier, you can get all that with a 20% discount using the link in the description below. I'm super excited about this tool. I'm going to be using it a ton more myself. It's just super easy for beginners to use. There seems to be hardly any learning curve at the start. It's cheaper than using multiple tools. And it's also faster than having to go to all of these different places. You can just do it all in one area now. Crazy. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And there's one thing that could make your AI films better that you make here. And that is songs with lyrics in them. And I've actually found an AI tool that generates full songs with singing and lyrics in them that you can watch a tutorial of here. So you can generate your song, download it, and then import it into AIvideo.com after. So make sure to watch this video next, and I'll see you soon.